to tell Remy I love you. Uh, my husband Remy Matthew is being held hostage at the St. George Kimpton Hotel around the corner and I'm making French eggs for him because um, I want him to have something to come home to and it's a French tradition that we make French eggs when we're married and we're, we're monogamous and it's um, a family tradition that was um, handed down to us. So this is what my husband and I do in France and this is egg number five. So this is the first dozen eggs that we're making and these are our first set of French eggs. So I'm making sure I document everything for my husband so that he can see that I did the whole thing by myself or that we did it together ourselves, me and my husband. Um, because he's with me in my heart and in my mind and in spirit all the time. And he's all mine and we're monogamous. So even though he's being held hostage, that's the way things are. Um, he's going to be rescued soon, so I want to have these eggs for him to come home to. So I'm taking the design of these little eggs and putting them on top of the eggs that we made. So the eggs we made are the French flag eggs. They're inverted in this video because it's the selfie mode. This is egg number five, and I'm going to draw the um, this little design on it. It's the same one I've been drawing on all the eggs with the grass and things at the bottom. So it's going to be grass at the bottom. It's going to be grass and, and flowers. And then there's a canopy. So on the last one, I tried to do the grass exactly the way it was on the little egg. It kind of ended up looking a little bit, I didn't know if it was going to be that great. So I'm going to do a couple more that are just improvised because the first three were improvised and I don't want it to be three that were improvised and then all the rest of them perfect. So I'm going to make a few that are improvised and then a few that are exactly the same as the little eggs. But the thing that I'm trying to get, the little eggs, the important thing is to get the colors right. So that's the bottom there. So it's just a, just a line, just a bunch of lines for the grass part. And then we're going to do the canopy at the top. I'll try and do the canopy exactly the way it is. I think I should do it. I think my husband would like it if I do it the way that I had it before because, because I think it covers more ground because they're kind of uneven if we do them. They're kind of uneven if I do them. Um, exactly the way they are in the little eggs because the wrapper when the wrapper wraps around it's a rectangle wrapper wrapping around an oval egg and so the lines don't line up and it's kind of looks like but that's I guess kind of what we want because there's a seam so you want the, these eggs to look like they're chocolate eggs I think they're gonna look like that no matter what um, but we're gonna want to double check or we're gonna want to make um, try and do as much as we can to make them look like that because my husband thinks that's funny and yeah so this one's kind of just the same as the other ones they're all kind of the same but there's a lot of different colors on them so we're gonna try and match the colors as much as we can so that we have the memory of the little baby eggs and how funny we thought it was when we did the medieval baby egg celebration because that's what it's supposed to be reminiscent of and we thought that that was really really cute and it was mine and my husband's vision so he gets to see all of these when he comes home so there's a little awning at the top and I'm just gonna draw the flowers it's the same as the other ones and the pattern repeats three times on here but we're gonna only do it twice only twice because that's all we have room for. So 
This is egg number five. This is egg number five. And there's a bluebell. And I don't know what the middle one is. The middle flower. And, and there's like a, a daisy or something. I think it's a daisy. There. There. These flowers are really cute and they're really easy to draw so it's kind of a really nice pattern to start with. And I'm sure there's a bunch of them if you go Easter egg hunting or shopping at the store. Um, there'll probably be a whole bunch. These ones are just for my husband for when he comes home. And then he's going to make some eggs too, and he's going to draw some eggs and paint some eggs with me. Because we love each other. I love you, Remy. Je t'aime. Je t'aime, mon amour. Pour toujours. I love you, Remy. <laughs>